Hey, friend, you know what day it is. We got these combos, okay? Look, I know y'all tired of me talking about this weather, but it was 70-something degrees today, okay? I'm basking around outside going to run some errands in a sweatsuit and some tennis shoes and hat, and I'm about to burn up. I'm like, why is it so hot? <laughs> it was just snowing a couple of weeks ago. And I never checked the weather. My husband was like, you got to start checking the weather because I was on fire today. So that just made me think you got to make sure you use up your winter fragrances or whatever you want to use for the winter time. Go ahead and get that out of your system because before we know it, it'll be spring and summer. I'm like, this is still just, just February though. But anyway, girl, this first combo is definitely uh, one for the winter, okay? and I have not been wearing it although most of these combos I'm not going to even say they're winter but next the next couple of weeks I'll make sure that I'm using more winter scents because it's almost over obviously but um, I wanted to start with frosted coconut snowball this is not one I use too often it's just bleh, bleh. it's nothing special about it um, it has frosted coconut, North Pole vanilla, winter freesia, snow kiss woods, and sponge sugar. It's not bad. It's just understated to me. Um, so I have the frosted coconut snowball lotion and the frosted coconut uh, snowball body mist. Now, what I am doing different today is, y'all know, I'm on a mission to start at least putting dents in my perfumes, my body mist. And y'all been seeing me post some things on how I plan on doing that. I also have been trying to use at least two perfumes, okay, with my combos. If I'm doing a full combo for the week, I'm trying to use two perfumes. So the two I decided to use with Frosted Coconut Snowball was Ariana Grande's Cloud. This has that coconut note in it. And I don't wear this one that much either. And it is good. It's really pretty. And it did this combo justice. And I also used Coet Alpha Sun. And you guys know this has coconut as well. But this, oh, this is just my everything i love this perfume i'm not gonna say it's my everything but it's one of my favorites of all time it's just the airy sweetest coconut it's almost i want to say it's tropical but it's really not because you can wear this all year round it's just pretty that's the best i can say it's just a pretty scent pretty pretty scent frosted coconut snowball frosted coconut snowball Ariana Grande's Cloud and Kuwait Out for Sun. Warm Vanilla Sugar is another pretty one, but I just don't gravitate to it as much as Wrapped in Vanilla for some reason. And this is a floral, a beautiful floral vanilla. It's very pretty, very soft to me. Um, it's not necessarily sweet though because wrapped in vanilla is your ultimate sweet vanilla This is a floral vanilla, but it's very nice So this has intoxicating vanilla white orchard sparkling sugar fresh jasmine creamy sandalwood Very beautiful. I have the, this body mist as well as the lotion So what I decided to do with my two perfumes on this one and you guys this is just giving you ideas okay I decided for this day just to pair my devotion and you guys know this has a citrus it's a vanilla and citrus it almost smells like an orange creamsicle to me it could give lemon it's just a very bright beautiful citrus okay and I just decided to pair with it my also oh orange by juicy couture and that combo was pretty really really pretty you could do lemon if you have any sort of lemon perfume you could just take what i'm doing and make it your own you don't have to have exactly what i'm having but you can take warm vanilla sugar and then if you have devotion and if you have a lemon if you have any sort of orange or orange blossom any type of perfume like that it's just going to really accentuate it and with that vanilla being more floral it's just going to be beautiful. I really love this combination. Again, 
that was Warm Vanilla Sugar, also Orange, and Devotion by Dulce and Gabbana. I don't like to do this, but I am using one of the body mists that I used last week because I just wanted to. But this time, I'm going to accentuate the marshmallow and whipped cream. And it's really, really good. Okay, so this is Cotton Candy Clouds. And this has pink sponge sugar, pink berries with vanilla. So I have the body mist and the body lotion again. And I'm able to kind of put a nice little dent in here. Y'all see my dent coming? Yep, and I haven't even been really wearing that. So I'm like, I'm on a mission, girl. I'm on my mission. Now, I did use my uh, whipped shea butter. And this is the uh, sweet cream on my body as well. Okay, so I used that. And my two perfumes I decided to pair that work so good together was um, pistachio gelato and commodity milk. Ooh, girl, that was very very pretty that was very pretty mm-hmm mm -hmm. beautiful beautiful I love commodity milk I've got to get my wear out of this one because like I said this is going to be too heavy for summer in my opinion I think it's very very it's very dense very sweet um, it's, it's just beautiful. I don't know. I might decide to wear it in the summer, but I want to have to be in cool, in a cool area. I can't wear this and be hot and sweaty. I feel like it'll be too much. Okay. But these two together, I paired with cotton candy, cotton candy clouds. Next up, I was in the mood for my Dahlia again. I really, really like this one. Mm. It's so pretty to me. I, I know a lot of people are saying that it's just not as good as the original, but not having had the original, I'm so happy just to have this. And I love her. I think she's beautiful. And I also have the lotion. I have the body wash. So I use all of that. Now, what I paired with it was another one of those toppers that I told you about from Indulgent Moment. And this is the Pear and Tonka. Pear and Tonka are also notes in Dahlia. Okay, so Dahlia has, I can't hardly read this writing, Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. Okay, so Pear and Tonka. That's what I'm telling you. I love these. And they have a ton of them. I think I want to go into that site and just order a bunch of these um, because I like them. You can see I've already put a nice little dent in there. This right here is sweet. It is so pretty. If you like Tonka and you like Pear, I've seen it in TJ Maxx recently too. It just depends on your store. They all have different ones. Um, when I was out of town, I, that's when I found the newest ones that I have. But I noticed at different times they offer different ones. So, Parent Tonka. And my second perfume is by Mix Bar. And this is the Pear Blossom. And this was a really pretty combo. It was really pretty. A lot of times, you guys, you just use what you have. If you're trying to get through your product. And this pair right here, this Pear Blossom by Mix Bar. I bought it, but it's not sweet. I do get a pear blossom and you have to pay attention, which I wasn't. When I was just going on my shopping spree, I bought, uh, this says pear blossom from Mix Bar. I'm thinking pear. I didn't even smell it. I just picked it up. I'm like, oh, I got to have that. I love pear, but it's pear blossom. It's not like a sweet, juicy pear. I also buy perfumes that have almond blossoms and I'm thinking almond. <sighs> I wasn't paying attention, girl, but I tell you what, I learned my lesson, but it's still good. So I'm still going to use it up. I'm going to use it, but I have to use it in conjunction with something that's sweet for me. And um, this combo was really nice. Parentonka, Dahlia, and... So this next combo is going to feature uh, my whipped coconut milkshake. 
I haven't used her in a while. Love, love, love this. And my body cream. I'm coming on down. I mean, it's about right here. And for me, as many body creams as I have, that's actually doing pretty good. And what I'm realizing, these really kind of go quickly if you use it all over your body. And just use it a couple of days, two or three days in a row. I've noticed that when I do that, it really does take quite a bit. So it works pretty good. So I started with coconut um, whipped coconut milkshake. And you guys know this has vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. All right, so I wanted to go in with my Burberry Goddess. Um, this one's my dent is small. I don't really wear this one, but it is very pretty. I love it. I'm going to start wearing more of it. I think I can wear this all year round. You know, it has that lavender in it. It's very pretty. Three types of vanillas. So you could use this. And I just decided to layer with it again, Kuwait Alpha Sun. And that is a pretty pretty combo I just love all of these I love um, the whipped coconut milkshake I love cute out for sun I love the Burberry goddess this just worked up really really pretty and um, if I wanted to I could also layer silver moon now this is like a heavy vanilla but it has some almond in it that's a pretty combo too you can also do this just giving you guys some options um, you don't always have to use the same thing but as long as it kind of works together, this has vanilla and almond, okay? So this has a vanilla and lavender, and this is vanilla and coconut. But it all goes together, okay? And then um, I chose to use this one. It's just your choice, what you feel like for the day. But just have, make sure that the notes are similar. Because if you don't, sometimes it's going to clash. At times, you can just put something on together and it, it will flow beautifully. But more, more nine times out of ten, uh, I don't know, unless your nose is that good. Now, some people can do that. I can't do it. But with this process, with me telling you, um, working similar notes, it's going to work most of the time. Another body mist I have not been wearing but I love is Ballet Nights and this has Wild Plum, Glowing Amber, Tonka Cream. I love Tonka. I love Plum. So I have this as well as the body cream. Now, girl, I got my big Charosa because yes, that's just that girl for me. So Plum on Plum on Plum. I decided to layer the Charosa number 40. You could also use that body butter. Um, if you like and then I went in this is midnight fantasy and this has a lot of plum in it as well so pretty so when plum is done right it can be so pretty and this is a very pretty combination and that's ballet nights Charosa number 40 and midnight fantasy next up I started with my Brazilian bum bum cream and I also use my Brazilian Crest Charles number 71. I told you guys I'm trying to use this one up so I can get the big bottle of this one. And this has notes of caramelized vanilla, sea salt, toasted macadamia nut, white chocolate, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. But love, love, love this. As you can tell, love it. All right, so I just decided to pair it with uh, Dulce by Rosie Jane. This is a beautiful combination along with the bum bum cream smells so good. Now ordinarily I would say this is like a beach summertime scent. Just so good. So um, tropical, pretty, but you can add the Rosie Jane to it and it just makes it more of a vanilla gourmand type of scent. Very, very pretty. This is our next combo. So this next combo, you may consider fall, but I'm getting through some of my products. So I'm going to use it. And that's um, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, the body mist, as well as the body butter or body cream. And this has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. Love, love this. And you know, praline musk isn't so much. I wonder how this would work with Dahlia. 
See, that's how I do. If I just see a common note, because praline must is in Dahlia. So I'm going to take some of this right here, right now. Y'all, this is on impromptu. Y'all know this is, it's just me, okay? Okay, so I just layered a little bit on there. I don't think I had anything else on for a minute. And now I'm just spraying the Dahlia on top of that. And I'm going to give it a second. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. you, could do, you could actually do that. That praline is coming through. Let me give it a second because I'm picking up something. Mm, I don't know. To me, I'm picking up something a little sour. So something may be clashing. Mm, I don't think I'll wear that one. But it's just a thought. I wanted you guys to see how you can kind of try to see if something to go together. So I tried this um, marshmallow pumpkin latte because it has praline musk in it. And so does um, Dahlia. So I'm like, let me just try the lotion and just see. It's okay now. It's okay. Now let me try spraying. I'm going to just spray the top with Dahlia. And then I'm going to spray marshmallow pumpkin latte also. They could actually go, y'all. Something about this body cream. Let me see if it's starting to turn yellow on me. Not really. Yes, it is. It's turning yellow. I've noticed sometimes when they start to turn yellow, it kind of smells different. It alters the scent. But it smells good in the tube. It smells okay. I don't know. But I do feel you can layer. I do feel you can layer the marshmallow pumpkin latte and the dahlia. So you just have to try it yourself, see what you think about it. It's not like the best combo, but I think you could get by with it, in my opinion. I think I could wear it and get by with it, okay. But just trying it out, and that's just showing you guys how I come with, uh, with my combo sometimes. If you just find, you just go through one and you see a, a, a similar note, but sometimes the other stuff in it will throw it all the way off and it won't work. But sometimes it works. And if they have two or three more of the same notes, more than likely, it's going to blend really good. So, like, if one has praline musk and the other one um, has praline musk and they both have marshmallow, they both have two notes in common, three notes in common, more than likely, it's going to blend. But that's that's kind of pretty. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be trying that one. So, y'all need to try that combo. But anyway, back to this combo, I used the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, okay? And then um, I went in with the Billie Eilish. This is just a really pretty combo by itself. Very, very pretty. It smells so good. I really like that combo. But I also received from Dirty Soul Soap, I got this Gooey Marshmallow. I got it in a tester. And, um... Yeah, I just added this to the combo to amplify the marshmallow. So, see, that's how you can do. Just amplify. You can pick one little thing and amplify it. Although, Billie Eilish does not have any marshmallow in it. Just that vanilla and the chocolate combines with this. So pretty. And then I just add that little extra marshmallow on the side. And it is really, really pretty. So you guys, with most of these, I try to use at least two perfumes, okay? Because I'm going to be using more of my perfumes as well. If I'm going to be trying new things, which I love trying new things, I have to make sure I have space for that and I don't want to get rid of anything. So I'm finding new ways to use more of my scents, more of my fragrances. Um, I showed you how I'm doing the triple of the body mist. Do a triple body mist. You can do that lotion 
as well as body wash and now my combos instead of one perfume I'm going to add two perfumes you could use two body mist two perfumes you can do that you can do whatever you want to is but you just make sure that it blends very nicely and that it goes together and it's not like off putting or anything but I wanted to give a shout out to one of the subbies and I forget her name so I'm going to try to put her name on the screen I hope I don't forget but she said that she used um poppy okay she gave this combo of poppy fresh morning dew wild poppy sugar rhubarb and juicy, juicy pear the, I have the lotion and the body mist, and she just pairs it with Prada Paradox. Y'all, that is such a pretty, pretty combo. She did that. Girl, you did that. I love this combo. I think I want to wear it tomorrow. I love it, girl. I think it is so, so pretty. You guys, that's why I love the interchange that we give each other. If you have some combos you want to share and you feel like everybody needs to know about this, drop it down below because everybody checks each other's comments and we might want to, you know, try the combo ourselves. But she left this one, girl, and it is beautiful. So y'all drop some comments down below on some combos. We'll be trying them out. We'll share them. It just, uh, yeah, share your combos, girl. Let's, let's all smell good because we love smelling good over here, girl. You know we do. <laughs> But you guys, that's going to be it for my combos this week. I'm going to be um, next week really trying to come up with some different things. This video, I mean, I was just trying to use two perfumes. So I'm going to try some different things next week. So we're going to try to delve a little bit deeper. We're going to try to delve a little bit deeper into the combo world and see what we can come up with. And um, yep, because winter is almost over with, you guys. It's almost over already, I can tell. But yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure that you're subscribed. Leave me some stars to let me know you made it all the way through to the end of this video. And I appreciate you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.